My name is Jason King. Uh, I am the co-founder of the Academy School of Blockchain, also known as the Kingsland School of Blockchain at Kingsland University. Uh, we're an Atlanta, Georgia-based university, accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. So what I'm gonna talk about today is I'm gonna talk about a problem that sort of addresses the entire blockchain ecosystem. And um, it's something that a lot of people don't like to talk about, but it's something that my company dire uh, directly addresses. And so blockchain landscape, in 2016 as an industry, we raised about $103 million in token sales ICOs. By 2017, that number had grown to $7.2 billion. And actually, so far in the first six months of 2018, we've already raised $8.3 billion as an industry. So we're, we're already on track to more than double what we did from last year, which was like a 70x increase on the year before that. That's the velocity of this industry. And we're planning on growing another 16x over the next few years. This is what the data shows. I've been in blockchain or Bitcoin since 2010, and uh, it, was a, it was a very sort of small band of brothers group. And I've been here watching this growth. And to be at a stage where we are right now, where we can have conferences like this, where people come from all over the world to talk about all of these amazing projects, it's fantastic. But in this rapid growth, there's something that's hugely lacking in the industry. And it's this. It's blockchain developer supply versus demand. So we did a survey of 200 Fortune 500 executives. And of those 200, 188 of them said that they had plans to implement blockchain technologies at their company, which is a fantastic statistic. But what's not fantastic is this little sliver here on the chart which is that of the 188, only 12 of them thought they could actually identify the talent to implement blockchain technology in their company. Think about that. And this is the problem right now, is that currently on the face of planet Earth, there are 14 available jobs for every one qualified blockchain developer. So $7.2 billion last year, $8.3 billion this year. On all of those investor capital deployment sheets, they talk about spending 40 to 60% on human resources for development. And they're talking about hiring people that fundamentally do not exist anywhere on Earth today. You think that's a problem? So what happens if we don't fix this? If someone doesn't come up with a solution for scaling this issue that we have of this lack of developers in the ecosystem, well, we're already sort of seeing this right now, is that we have this potential for an industry-wide bottleneck. And with that, a lot of blockchain projects are going to stall indefinitely. And I'm not talking about the scams that are going to stall because they were never going to come to market, but I'm talking about the projects that you hear about that you think really have great legs and really should come to fruition. A lot of those projects are just going to stall out because they're not going to be able to attract developers. Last year, one of the largest ICOs that we had was a project called Tezos. Tezos raises a little over a quarter of a billion dollars in their ICO. And they're currently basically imploding. And in their internal memos, what they quote is as a failure to attract engineering talent. So $250 million wasn't enough for them to find the people to come out and build the technology that they promised all of their investors that they were building. And so what this could really lead to if we don't fix it, is a sector implosion. It's because if we take enough money in from people and can't deliver on these projects, people are gonna get really sick of investing in blockchain projects. So why have we been so slow as an ecosystem? We're smart people. You're gonna hear lots of smart people here. Why, why is this a big thing? Well, there, there are some critical things that lead to this, right? So blockchain tech moves very, very quickly. And you know what doesn't move very, very quickly? traditional universities and colleges. They're very, very slow to move. Now, this has been, it's been an epidemic in tech since tech was ever taught in a university. Computer science, the cutting edge developers, they never really went, wanted to go to a CS class because by the time it made it into a textbook, it was already outdated. And then currently, right now, blockchain devs are paid significantly more to be in production than they are to train other blockchain developers. This has also been a problem. And as an industry, over the past few years, we have failed to really come up with standards for education and certification within our, our ecosystem. 
So this information that we're creating, these, these new technologies and this new implementations, this stuff is not being documented in a way, standardized, where people can come behind the people that are creating it and then re-implement it. So it's been a huge problem. So it's a big problem, and what's the solution to it? Well, last year, my partner, Mo Levin, uh, who is also the organizer of this event, another huge round of applause for keynote events, guys. My partner, Mo Levin, and I, um, we approached a man named John Souza, who's the founder of Kingsland University in Atlanta, Georgia. And what we proposed was, is that we proposed standing up a fully US accredited school for blockchain development. And that's exactly what we did. And last year, we became the, the first fully US accredited school for blockchain development. Uh, the Kingsland School of Blockchain, otherwise known as Academy School of Blockchain. I've been on a road show for, almost a year now talking about this project. And uh, I'm really happy to sort of show you guys what we've been up to. Um, so Kingsley University, we are a full scale solution which gives developers, executives, and universities tailored options for blockchain education and connects our graduates with uh, companies that can give them meaningful careers in the space. We have immersive blockchain certification tracks and what we teach isn't just weird theory or like somebody's best guess on it. What we did is, is we actually went to these core foundations of these technologies, to the people that developed them directly, and we got them to actually help us build out our curriculum. So what we teach is coming from the horse's mouth. It's coming from the people that created Ethereum, the people that created Tether, the people that created EOS. And so what we can do now at Kingsland, at Academy, is that we can retrain existing full stack software developers into blockchain developers by providing a series of project-based courses for improving skill sets in existing developers. So at Kingston University, we have successfully delivered uh, technical education to over 275,000 students over the last 10 years. So as a university, we have a track record of teaching highly technical skills to large uh, bodies of students. And currently, we're one of the leading providers of emerging and disruptive technology education on the planet. Prior to the Kingsland School of Blockchain, just at Kingsland University, we've worked with a lot of Fortune 500 companies, and we have done both technical and executive education level trainings. Here's just sort of a snapshot of some of the companies that we've worked with, all names that most people would recognize. Um, we are Sachs Cassie accredited. That's the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. They accredit all of the schools in the southeastern United States. And why that's relevant is for the first time ever, Blockchain education is now available for um, Title IX and Title XI funding, which is um, the Veterans Administration um, Vocational Rehabilitation Benefits, Montgomery GI Bill, and also FAFSA funding, which is all of the student loans and student grant programs that people are associated with. So what this means is that currently, right now, through our program, billions of dollars, actually hundreds of billions of dollars in educational benefits are now available for people to learn blockchain for the first time in history. Last year, we really supercharged our team. Last year, we made a strategic acquisition of a company called SoftUni. SoftUni is the largest privately held uh, university in Europe. It's based in Sofia, Bulgaria. They have a current student population of software developers of 150,000 students. Just think about that. Basically a small army. Soft Uni itself has actually trained 25% of all of the developers in Bulgaria trained at Soft Uni. Soft Uni is now a part of the Kingsland University system and is actually a core partner for what we do at Academy. Um, top notch people, all the executive staff there, Forbes 30 under 30, 30 uh, Soft Uni itself was Forbes' um, European Startup of the Year 2015. Really, really great um, company, really, really great group of people, and we were able to fold them into the Kingsland brand and, um, and get them to work um, building our blockchain education products out. So what we've done is, is that we're based in Atlanta, Georgia, but like I said, we also have a university in Sofia, Bulgaria, and what we do is we teach blockchain education around the world. And what we're doing is we're partnering with either governments or large corporations or regional partners to bring our training in to existing, um, to existing locales. Here's sort of a snapshot of a lot of the places that we're working. So far, we've already run um, two cohorts this year. We ran a, an initial program in Sofia, Bulgaria that graduated in March. And I just got back from Singapore where we have a partnership with Neon Polytechnic University in Singapore. 
And our, we just graduated our second cohort of blockchain developers um, in uh, two Fridays ago. So, so far in, in 2018, we've already graduated two classes of brand new software developers, uh, blockchain developers. Uh, so what we have, in addition to the blockchain program, we basically have a full stack of educational programs related to software development and blockchain. The core of that is our software programming um, uh, ed educational program. Um, we have a one-year software development program where we can take someone who has no experience in software development, um, and it's a one year of intensive training, followed by one year of on-the-job training, plus an additional um, academic requirement. Now, in the United States, we have a lot of these software boot camps, these dev boot camps, this like go from being a fry cook to being a software developer in 12-week programs. And those programs suck. Um, they, basically, they basically have really, really um, poor student outcomes. About 30% of the people actually end up making it through and actually getting hired after that. And then of that 30% abysmal rate of placement, about 65% of those people have lost that job within the first 12 months. So we're talking about like a total pass-through value from those programs of about 11%. In comparison, our program over the last five years of our one plus one program, we have a 92% placement rate from that program. So we're actually graduating qualified software developers. And of those 92%, we have a 70% retention rate year over year after that. So we're actually developing a base layer of full stack developers that can then go on to be blockchain developers. Our blockchain engineering programs are four to six weeks, actually about four to eight weeks now. We've, we've tweaked our classes. Six weeks is sort of the mid-range, that's what we started with. We now have a compressed class that's four weeks, kind of gets it done a little faster with a lot more intensity in the program. Um, and then we actually have an eight-week program that's actually broken up into separate bits, where you actually do a self-study, you do a two-week intensive, and then you do some more self-study, and then do another two-week intensive. So it's a lot easier for, for existing um, students that are on the job to take a two-week break as opposed to a six-week break. Um, and with that education, excuse me one second, um, with that education, we are graduating over 1,600 blockchain developers this year through our blockchain program. And to put that into perspective, that's about twice the number of blockchain developers that are currently working on the planet Earth. So right now um, at Kingsland University Academy School of Blockchain, in just our first year of operation, we actually plan to double the available developer supply, which we're really, really proud of. In addition to this, we also do executive education. We do one and two day fast tracks for the Deloitte's and the KPMG's and the Price Waterhouse Coopers of the world. Um, and we also do a lot of consumer education and we do um, customized developed training specifically for industry. So if your company needs specific educational training, we'll be happy to develop it for you. Just gonna kind of skip through some of this stuff here. Um, like I said, our curriculum advisors, we've got world class people, people like Steve Dack from Ethereum. Craig Sellers from Tether, Omnivatomic, Gabe Kerman, RSK Labs, or Rootstock, Ricardo Spagni from Monero, Paul Pui for Edge, Airbits. These are sort of cream of the crop of the blockchain developers, and these are the people that are working with us to keep our, our curriculum current and relevant in the ecosystem. So what if, what if um, you're a company and you need developers, but you don't have a developer to send to our program, and you, you still need to have blockchain development stuff done for you? So what we've done is we've created what's called Kingsland Innovation Center. And what this is, is a business process outstaffing company where we actually hire quality blockchain developers in-house, and then we can actually deploy them out to work as outstaffing, as basically a remote worker for you to build out your own uh, blockchain projects. There's a lot of benefits to this. It's very, very flexible as opposed to hiring staff internally. Stress-free, and a lot of times it's a lot lower cost for you. And it's because we're handling a lot of the things that you would normally hand in handle internally. Office expenses, payroll taxes, accounting, vacation, management of personnel, sick leave, salary. You don't have to do that. You can pay a fixed fee to Kingsland, and we can deploy world-class developers out to you to help you build the projects that you need. Um, 
So that's it. That's sort of the three things that we do. Kingsland University, General Software Development, Academy School of Blockchain, Blockchain Development, and the Kingsland Innovation Center sort of all come together to make sure that we're securing the future of blockchain and that we continuously have this access to blockchain developers to build out a lot of these projects. Guys, um, people are always asking what we're looking for and like how they can help. So these are the four things that we're currently looking for. Always looking for talented engineers. If you know someone who's a great engineer but doesn't know anything about blockchain, please drive them our way. Um, and, and not being able to afford tuition will never be a reason that you can't get a slot at a class. If you are a, a talented developer, you have problems with tuition, we have lots of financial assistance and scholarships available to make sure that we're getting high quality people regardless of the financial um, issues. We're also always looking for regional partnerships all over the world. If you exist anywhere and you're interested in bringing training into your region, please contact us. We would love to work with you. And we're also looking for companies who need blockchain developers and companies who need to train their staff on blockchain. So if that applies to you, please come visit us at our booth and we'll be here for the next two days. Guys, thank you very much. <laughs>